Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you about the VPN room asset on the Cisco ASA with the Cisco Nginx uh, by the GUI. Okay, today we configure VPN room asset by the Bizan graphic user interface and uh, Cisco Nginx and uh, uh, Cisco ASDM. Okay, before I'm show you already about the VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA, but we configure by the command line. Okay, today uh, we configure VPN by the GUI graphic user interface. Okay, and then we go to the Gen uh, 3 Okay, this is the lab or topology that we have to configure VPN remote access. Okay, before we configure remote access VPN by the GUI, um, so um, explain about the uh, this diagram. Okay, that you see, this is a side from the office and this is a side from the home. Okay, and then we have to install the VPN client Cisco and Ignite on the Windows XP client 3. Okay. Okay, this is the Windows XP client 1 that I'm connect to the suite and suite connect to the Cisco ASA. Okay. Okay, before you configure VPN remote access, you have to configure internet access or not already on the Cisco ASA so user can access to the internet okay okay let's go to configure Cisco ASA okay and I'm go to the Windows VLAN 1 okay Windows VLAN 1 okay and then I'm go to the Cisco ASDM and log into the Cisco ASA by the Graphic user interface. Okay, so I'm not yet to the create the username and the password. Okay, I'm go to the command line and create username. Okay, I'm put the admin and uh, password. Admin also ping me. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, interface for the Cisco ASDM. Okay, Cisco ASDM for the uh, Cisco ASA. Okay, there you see. Okay, this is a host name Cisco ASA ASA version. Okay, ASDM version. Okay. Okay, this is the device model. Okay, this is the uh, interface for the inside and outside. Okay, for the outside, this IP address is mean the public IP. Okay, this is the uh, IP local. Okay, and then we go to the configure with and remote access. I'm going to the visa. Okay, and with and visa. Okay, and then I'm uh, choose uh, any connect visa before we configure with and remote access. And for the VPN plan, we use the Cisco and connect. Okay, and then I'm click next. Okay, for the connection profile, you have to put the name of the connection profile. Okay, for me, I'm example, I'm put the BBM. Okay, for this one, I'm choose on the ASL. Okay, next. Okay, for the certificate, we not yet to configure. Okay, because this is a lab testing, um, uh, not to show you about the device certificate. Okay, so the this step you have to skip. Okay, and then I'm go to next. Okay, for this one, you have to add uh, a mic for the Cisco and internet. Okay, for this one, I'm to upload. Okay, and local part, I'm, part, I'm find the file of the Cisco and Ignite. Okay, I'm already to prepare. Okay, this, this is a file of the Cisco and Ignite P, uh, dot PKG. Okay, 
this file I'm already to rename because uh, the original or uh, original file is so long and uh, rename to the short name easy to remember. So when you download you you can find the Cisco and you connect all the version with version for the window, Mac and Linux also. Okay, for this version I'm choose for the window. I'm select this one and upload. Okay, the file uh, is transferred into the Cisco ASA. Okay, so you can wait while ASDM is uploading the file. Okay, maybe it's a few minutes. Okay, the file has been uploaded to the plus successfully. Okay, I'm click OK. Okay. Okay, and then I'm choose next. Okay, for this one, uh, you can create the new the username and the password. Okay, but before I'm create already for the admin password admin, so I'm no need to create again. Okay, for you, you can choose and create the new the password and username and the password is up to you okay and then i'm create already for the admin okay i'm choose next okay for this one you have to create the ip pool for the assign ip address to the vpn client okay i'm choose next okay i'm put the name of the vpn pool is not all VPN pool. okay for the ip address for the vpn pool is not Okay, and then subnet mask last 24. Okay. Okay, and next. Okay, for this one, you have to put the DNS server example onto the Google DNS. Okay, and this one. Okay, because I'm um, created the NAT already. Okay, we can traffic from the NAT address. Okay, next. Finish. Okay, so you can read. already for the VPN configuration okay and then um, go to the uh, window HP client 3 for testing ping okay ping from the uh, my connection uh, VPN uh, Cisco and Ignite and try to ping to the local machine at the office side okay I'm go to the window HP client 3 Okay, before I um, make the connection, I'm um, testing P. It's working or not. Okay. Okay. That you see. Okay, I'm, point, I'm ping from my home side. Okay, this is my home side. Okay, 
and then I'm pinned to the local side at office. Okay, so we cannot pin. So the connection is lost or it will come out because we not get uh, the connection we ran. Okay, and then I'm okay. This is the uh, Cisco any connect that I'm already to install. Okay, Cisco any connect. Okay. So if you not get to the install, you can access or download this software from the browser. You can open the browser and type the public IP uh, uh, from the Cisco ASA. Okay. If you not get to install, you have to do like this: type the public IP, the Cisco ASA, and then you confirm security. Okay, so you have to log in the username and the password. Okay, so you can download. Okay, automatically to download for you. Okay, okay, you can click on continue. So you can download the Cisco and Ignite Secure Mobility Client and installation. Okay, for me, I'm already to download, so I'm not need to download again. Okay, for you, if you not get to install, you can uh, go to the public IP and type the username and password you can log in and install this in automatically okay for this one I'm no need to install again I'm close this one okay I'm just uh, open the Cisco and Ignite and type the public IP connect okay yes. connect anywhere Okay, and for this one, I'm type the username and password. Okay, so the VPN connected that you see, VPN connected to the public IP. This is the public IP from the Cisco ASA. Okay, and then I'm open this one. Okay, there you see. Okay, this is the IP pool that assigned to the Cisco ASA. Okay, assigned to this one. Okay, and then we go to the check the command line. Okay, so then you see the connection is working when we connected the VPN. Okay. Okay, if um, disconnect. Okay, so you the connection is the correct time out. Okay. So when the VPN disconnect, we cannot ping also and remote also to the local LAN. Okay, and try to connect again. Okay, the the VPN is working, and so we can ping to the local. Okay, local LAN, local machine. Okay, we, you can ping to the console and then I'm trying to ping to the internet working on that. Okay, the connection is working, is working but the internet is it's not working. Okay. The connection VPN is working, we can ping to the local machine or local LAN, but uh, the internet is disconnected, so you have to the allow uh, or permit the IP local to the access to the internet. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to the Cisco ASA. Okay. At the Cisco, at the Windows uh, VPN one. Okay, Windows VPN one. Okay, and then I'm go to the edit. Okay, I'm click on the manage. Okay, for this one, I'm choose this one default and click edit. 
okay for the advanced and to the speed speed tunneling okay and policy i'm um, click at this one and to the tunnel network list below and network list i'm um, to okay i'm um, click manage and um, create the new uh, as sel okay i'm um, put the name of the sel example bpm uh, acl okay and at ace Okay, for the HD, I'm choose a low network length. Call it. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, for this one, okay, also. Okay, I'm click apply. Okay, close. Okay, and then we go to the Windows Speaker M3 and testing thing again to the internet is working or not. Okay, it's not working. Go to the disconnect and connect it again. Disconnect. Okay, and then I'm connect again. Okay, just connect again. Okay. There you see the connection is replying, so we can access internet also, and we can access. Uh, to the LAN also. Okay, and then I'm going to the local LAN. Okay, it's working. Okay, and then I'm okay, I can go to the uh, Google. Okay, it's working also. Okay, this is the benefit that we uh, create the VPN remote access by the Cisco and Internet. Okay. Okay, and then I'm uh, testing a share file. Okay, I'm go to the uh, window HP client born. Okay, I'm testing sharing file example. Okay, I'm share from my uh, PC local side office. Okay, share file. Okay, and then I'm go to the uh, window HP Plan 3 um, try to uh, try to get a result from the window HP Plan 1 at the office line. Okay, then you see we can uh, access the, to the results from the the caution okay that is easy okay okay this is a file that we share from the local machine okay for the, this video i'm finished thank you for watching my video please help me to like share and subscribe my channel also thank you for watching